Hello everyone, this is Sam Scaria with Simon Max Photography bringing you another quick tutorial on YouTube channel of Simon Max One. Um, I am a photographer and I just want to show you this program that's uh, online. It's not only free, but uh, what's great about it is you don't have to download it at all. Uh, the program is called Pixlr. Uh, there's three programs in one. Uh, for the photographers uh, that do a lot of photography like I do, um, it's kind of known as the poor man's Photoshop. Um, but it also has its fun areas where uh, a novice can actually take their photographs that you might have of your family or friends or you just do kind of a weekend photography and enhance your photos with some effects and some text. And I'm just going to go through uh, a short tutorial here and show you what you can do with a photograph and enhance it, whether it be you or your friends or whatever uh, photo that you might have, okay? So let's go ahead and go into, uh, I'm using an iMac here, so go ahead in your browser, whatever you use, Google or Yahoo, and type in uh, the name of the program, it's Pixlr, it's P-I-X-L-R. And the first one that pops out, go ahead and hit it. And from here, you wanna go to bookmark and bookmark it, and that's all you need to do. Now, as I told you, uh, there's three programs in here. Uh, the first one is uh, the Pixlr Editor, which is kind of like uh, the Photoshop. Uh, Let's go ahead and bring uh, our famous singer, uh, Assyrian singer, uh, Linda George photo. This photo is not taken by me, so I don't want to get any credit for it. Uh, but this might be a little intimidating for you as far as not knowing Photoshop or uh, it might be a little bit too advanced uh, for what I'm trying to show you. I will do another tutorial in this side of the program to show you how this works. But for now, let's just back out of here and go to the program that I want to show you. It's called Pixlr Express. So this will give us a different kind of menu. Uh, don't be intimidated about this. Just go ahead and hit the browse key here and select the photo that you want. So we're going to select the same photograph of Linda. And I'm not going to go into details. Uh, I want to make this uh, short and quick. Just want to show you real quick how I can uh, enhance this photo. Uh, you have your adjustment button. You can crop the, the photograph by just grabbing the squares, moving it to where you want it, hitting apply, and, you know, it's self-explanatory. Uh, you can do all kinds of stuff here. I'm going to just go and show you real quick. Uh, I'm going to auto-fix this. As you can see, it brightened the photograph. I'm going to hit apply. Uh, another effect that uh, I want to show you, but I'm not going to go into detail, but a lot of people tell me, can you make me skinny? Um, can you do this to my arms? Well, liquify can do that. Uh, and just realize that I'm not making fun of this photograph or fun of anybody right now. I'm just going to show you what these programs can do. So go ahead and resize your brush size. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger and go into the shoulder area, the arm area, and just click your mouse as you're going and doing this, and you can make them as skinny as you want. You can also uh, do the whole arm. You can also do the waist, shrink the waist, either side, okay? Uh, you could do the face. So as you can see, you could do whatever you want, okay? So let's cancel out of here. And uh, I like to do a little effect here on uh, focal blur. Focal blur is where you want, if you have a photograph of a flower or a bee that you want to be in focus, and yet the rest of the garden or flower is out of focus, or a picture just like we have here of Linda George. I want her face to be in focus and the rest of her body uh, and, and a blur. So uh, this button, what it does is opens up your focal point and this kind of fades it out. So I kind of like this kind of look, so I'm going to go ahead and apply it. Okay. Now, once we're done with this, I'm just going to walk you through some of these effects. Each, uh, each effect here, once you click on it, it gives you a variety of effects, uh, such as like this one. A lot of people like this retro look. And if you take the amount down, you can see it come back in toward the middle. 
so you could play around with these and do whatever you want uh, also there's another effect here that you might be interested in uh, kind of like that uh, it breaks it down into three different colors so go ahead and press anything you want and you know enjoy it play around with it so let me go ahead and fix this photo for you and tell you what I think uh, you could do with your photograph so I'm gonna go in the overlay and I'm gonna choose the neon and it gives us a whole variety of effects uh, I kinda like this Florence one I'm gonna click on it and as you can see it's on the left side here I'm gonna hit apply I'm gonna go back into the neon again and I'm gonna use this eclipse it's gonna put it on the right hand side I'm gonna go back into it again and I'm gonna choose this fantasy with a little purple kinda rushing through the side of the photograph and a stripe going through her hair I'm gonna go ahead and hit apply once I'm done with this I'm gonna go into borders I'm gonna go into nature and I'm gonna choose this uh, uh, this effect right here except the only thing I don't like is it's too strong so I want some of the colors to show in the background so I'm gonna go ahead and take the amount of uh, of the opacity down to make it kind of more transparent and once I get it to what I wanted I'm gonna hit apply I'm gonna go back into nature again and I'm gonna choose this lotus one which I like and uh, once the lotus load up, and I, I kind of like the dark areas here uh, being in the, in the foreground. So I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. And once we're done with that, I'm going to go into text. Uh, you have uh, an assortment of text that you could choose from. I really like the grunge look. Uh, once you hit the grunge look, go into fonts, click on the fonts, choose the ones you want. Uh, I kind of like the boycott one. Uh, before I go ahead and type in my text, I'm going to go into the color and I'm going to choose a color that kind of matches this little kind of a purplish color, uh, maybe a little bit brighter. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and type in Simon. There we go. I'm going to bring it down here and I'm going to use this little tool to size it up to what I think it should look like. Maybe tone it down a little bit. We're going to hit apply. I'm going to go back into the grunge look again. And I'm going to go ahead and choose the boycott. And here I'm going to choose the color black for my font. And I'm going to type in max. So let's bring this down. And obviously the, the size is not the same. So I'm going to drag it to actually matches the font and as you can see right here it matches pretty good I'm gonna pull it to the side to where I think it should fit perfectly and go ahead and apply and from here I'm gonna go ahead and hit save and I'm just gonna add an A behind the name I'm gonna hit save and you could choose where you want to choose to save it I'm gonna choose save a desktop and there you go Hopefully this helped you out and just making an ordinary photograph of your kids or of yourself or whatever you have uh, a little bit interesting and a little bit better and hopefully this helped you out on how to use this program. I will go into more details and other tutorials uh, as I have time uh, to do so. Uh, so if you're watching this on Simon Max One on YouTube, please go ahead and hit the red button down there and subscribe to my channel. If you're watching this on Facebook, please go ahead and leave a comment or any feedback. And, um, and I'll be glad to answer any of your questions. And hopefully you enjoyed this little tutorial and this program is great to use. Hopefully you'll have fun with it. And again, Sam Shikaria with Simon Max Photography. Thank you for watching.